Hi, we're Mike and Allie. We traveled to Costa Rica for two weeks in the summer of 2023. We had a jam-packed itinerary full of all the different natural beauties of Costa Rica. We planned a mix of popular destinations as well as literally off the beaten path wonders. We hope you enjoy our day-to-day -day adventures. See the world, see the world. Hola from Costa Rica. Hi, we are Mike and Allie and today is July 27th. We are on a Costa Rican adventure for two weeks. We started planning this trip over four months ago and did a lot of research and we watched lots of videos like this one that we thought were really helpful. So we thought we would make our own vlog for the trip to help other people when planning theirs. Um, so we just got to Costa Rica yesterday. Woo! We spent um, most of the day driving. It didn't take that Woo. long, but we stopped a little bit. Um, we stopped at a Walmart. Um, so that was kind of nice to pick up a bunch of water and stuff like that for um, the next few days at least. Um, so we drove straight to Uvita from San Jose Airport. Um, so yeah, we just, we spent most of the day just driving, um, kind of settling in, um, making sure we had working phones. Um, that was a big deal. Um, we got a SIM card through our car rental and then they told us to fill it up at a, a gas, or not a gas station, at a grocery store or at a, a Colby store, but the Colby stores were closed. And I went into a supermarket and thought I could ask if they sold SIM cards when I have to ask if they want to refill SIM cards and they do that at the yes. cash register. So if you don't see any SIM cards at the store, they still can um, access different services. So we have Colby, um, the other one is Claro, and they can just add, um, add minutes for you. So... Um, our first adventure here is Manuel Antonio National Park. Um, so we did have to go to bed really early last night to make sure that we got up at four in the morning. Um, the park here opens at seven. Um, so we wanted to make sure to get here for seven when there probably is the most wildlife um, and obviously least amount of people. Um, so we planned a little bit over an hour to get here. Um, we and added pretty much exactly that. Yeah, we added some extra time just because of the roads. Um, how the main roads are fine, but all the side roads are a little windy and bumpy, and some cars go slow, and then you have dirt bikes passing you, and so it's he's better to just go a little bit slow. Yeah. Um, so yeah, most of the roads have been fine. Just driving, you have to be extra cautious. Sometimes people just kind of cross the road or cars stop and you have to go around and the lanes are pretty narrow. So just be careful, which you always should be. Um, so It's yeah, seven so, o'clock. Let's go to Mayo Antonio. Let's do it. So we're walking from the parking lot to the entrance of the of Manuel Antonio Park and we forgot to mention that um, yeah when we drove up to the gate we realized that you can't actually go through it and park in the park. So you have to, you have find to park um, well there's, there's two parking lots outside um, on the street right in front of the park and so we paid 4,000 colones and now we're walking and it's just like 500, 500 feet, feet right. maybe less. We're right there. Um, so we're right at town. the gate now. So let's go in. So we read that these paths are pretty much paved, but it's pretty rocky. So probably could have gone with hiking boots or waterproof hiking sandals.
So we just saw a whole pack of white-faced capuchin monkeys. And they, so cute. They started way up in the top. And as we were watching them, they kind of came down and were maybe only like 10 feet up in the air, picking at each other, swinging from trees, jumping around. And sleeping. And now we're off to find a sloth. We saw Found a sloth. sloth in the wild. Yes. Um, so that was maybe our fifth animal. Um, definitely. Do not need a tour guide. You can <laughs> nothing, just ask anybody that's on the tour where the animal against, is. Nothing against tour guides. I'm sure they learn a lot of information. It would have been nice to learn some things. But as far as seeing animals, we don't feel like we had a problem with that here. Definitely come first thing in the morning because um, there was no one. By and the time we got, got back, back, it was packed. People everywhere, um, monkeys eating their food. We got some mixed messages about the cafe being closed. Um, it was open, but apparently it opened back up about a week ago. Um, so we still were able to bring food inside, but you do have to make sure that it's um, in packaged a in something Tupperware. reusable, so like a Tupperware. So we just left Manuel Antonio National Park. And it is totally different. Totally different streets, packed with vendors. Obviously, we got the coco frito <laughs> right away. We're heading to our next stop, and so we thought we would review Manuel Antonio, and overall, definitely exceeded our expectations, which were pretty low. Only because we read and saw a lot of things that people say Manuel, Manuel Antonio is crowded, berated. Um, you, it's hard to see things that are, you don't always get to see a sloth. Yeah, so definitely going first thing in the morning at 7 o'clock was, was the best. We didn't have to deal with any any nonsense trying to park the car. There, the streets weren't crowded with people like it was when we got out. Um, it was quiet on our hike through to see what we wanted to see. Yeah, definitely going out, there was almost no one when we were leaving. So we left at about 11, just after 11. So we were there for like four hours. Um, there were so many tours. Um, so definitely more crowded. Maybe you'll see more animals if you pass more tours. Um, but if you're looking for more of a quiet walk in the jungle, um, trying definitely to kind of find your own animals, yeah. Also, it's so hot. So humid, we're both soaked, um, so it feels great to be in the car in the air conditioning right now. So, um, total of four hours-ish spent at Manuel Antonio. Um, we went to areas 11, 7, 8, and 9, I believe. Um, definitely could have done more, um, so probably would have needed a couple more hours, but with everything that we... <laughs> Have, have planned. planned. We can only spend the 
the morning there, so we yeah, had to so leave. We left just in time, and, and we're happy with it. Um, it was a nice walk through the jungle, and we saw a lot of animals that we wanted to see. Except on our list still. Squirrel monkey. Toucans. Macaws. And macaws, which they said macaws typically aren't seen in the park. They're usually out of the park. So we're still on a mission to see toucans. But right now um, we are headed to Echo Chontales, which is about two, two and a half. We gave ourselves two and a half hours to get there from Manuel Antonio. So we'll see you there. to Echo Chantales. So we're gonna go find a waterfall. It took us about two hours from Manuel Antonio to get here and a lot of dirt roads. Very bumpy. Chantales, very very short hike to and from the waterfall, 700 meters, except getting there is all downhill, and it's slippery, so muddy and slippery, they have these like bamboo, bamboo hiking, poles. hiking poles that they have that you can use, they didn't have a lot, um, we, <laughs> Luckily, we brought our regular hiking poles, yes I needed two at times, um, Mike was so loving to give his up because um, I would have gone down on my butt. 
So luckily there was a lady who told us she, they were getting back and she said that we would need them. So we did. Um, now it's all uphill from here. See the world, see the world.